How do you like me now? A while ago, a long time ago, I did a video on this thing. And someone specifically requested I do a How Do You Like Me Now on it. And this is the Visconti Traveling Inkwell. This is the old model. If you check it out online, you'll find the new model. Now, what is this? Very simple. You put ink in it, you take it with you. You can ink up a pen with a converter or a, a piston filler, uh, wherever you like. Now, I'm going to cover the parts of this thing before I tell you how I like it now. Uh, it's a little difficult to show you, so I'm going to tilt this so that I don't spill ink everywhere. As you may be able to see, let me see if I can focus better. There we go. It's tapered. That's where you shove your pen into. And the nice thing about that is that you can put in your pen. We're going to cap it again. Tilt over the thing and then operate your, your converter or your piston. Uh, and that way you only have to fill it up to this point. It has a little line. I don't know how you can see that. Uh, that's how you do it. Turn it around and then you ink up your pen on the go. And the nice thing is that in the cap, this comes off. It's a little hidden compartment, and in there is whoops is this thing. And I've heard that people have used cigarette filters for this once it runs out. It's just a bit of cotton, which you can use to then dab up ink from the nib or the section, should it leak a little bit. It shouldn't really. You shouldn't really get ink in your section. That's what it says. However, in my experience, sometimes you do get a little bit of ink in there or on there. This goes into a little hole there, nice compartment. And you're all good to go. So you can carry a, a quite some ink because it holds quite a, quite a couple of milliliters of ink. You can refill your pen multiple times with this. So that sounds like a really good idea. Now, how do I like it at this point after having it used for quite a couple of years? As I said, my first ever video on fountain pens was, was about this thing. How do I like it now? Well, it has advantages and disadvantages. One disadvantage is it only holds one ink. And, I mean, that's a bit of a... A problem of luxury, I guess. Um, clearly, one ink should be enough, but if you like to switch inks a lot, that can be a bit of an issue. Okay, now as to um, usability, it works very well. I really only have a few pens, like a Delta Dolce Vita oversized, that are really big, really oversized, they don't fit in here. One thing you have to be very careful about is. Uh, vacuum filled pens like the Twisby VAC 700. I once put it in, turn it over, squeeze the thing, the whole thing was launched, ink everywhere. So that is something that can happen, you have to be aware of that, you have to be careful, uh, these things will happen. So you have to be careful in using it and of course once the uh, cap, once it's decorked so to speak, there's a lot of ink in there and uh, if that spills you will definitely ruin your suit. You have to be careful. Um, apart from that, I think it's a nice thing. Do I use it? Hardly ever. The reason is, I like to switch my ink, switch my pens a lot, so I honestly don't find myself using it that much. However, I can imagine if you only have one pen, or you have one pen that you always ink up with the same ink and you take it with you on the road, this is a really, really useful accessory. So, that's what I think about it, and um, that's pretty much it. I hope this was useful, and I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye. I just poured ink.